Yo, what's up? Welcome to my future home. This is, uh, <laughs> this is it. This is part of it. Man, this is big. There's a big echo right now because obviously no acoustics. I don't even know where to start with this tour. I'm really excited and kind of nervous to show you guys. Um, I guess nervous because it's a big space, you know, and I don't want, uh, I don't know. It seems kind of pretentious showing you this place. At the same time, this is where we're gonna be. So, you know what? Get used to it. <laughs> this is wild. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll start with the front. Well, first of all, hi. How's it going? So we've mocked up some plans for this place for the new office, and I told you guys I'd uh, I'd build I'd show you some some of the build out. And so first and foremost, we got a professional sound guy who does a recording studio, uh, sound deadening basically, and he's just gonna rig this whole place out to make it completely well not completely dead but close enough these things these track lightings we're getting rid of all of this they're all going to be pot lights just much like in the office that we have now this big pipe here the uh airflow for the heating that's going to be all painted yellow it's gonna be super sick the floors are actually going to get done probably one of the first things that are going to be done although they look great now uh they're all going to be done in epoxy so this is going to be gray epoxy that that's just like super reflective and gorgeous and great for filming Man, how crazy is this? Definitely the biggest investment of my life. You know, I bought a house uh, years ago and that was really scary in times that, honestly, I couldn't even afford to buy that house. It's not a big house by any means, a pretty small house. But um, it scared the living crap out of me because at the time, I had to borrow some money to even get approved for the loan. You know, uh, now th things are going well. Um, but still, you know, this is a big time investment. This is a, this is a lot. I try not to forget where I was sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I used to work, I used to work for, uh, man, let me put this down for a sec over here. The jobs that this guy's had, I mean, I'm sure we've all had our share of crappy jobs. I've literally done them all. My first job, I was at a water park. I was in charge of cleaning out the sanitary boxes in the women's bathroom. So for those women out there, you know what I'm speaking about. For those guys that don't know, there's a disposable, there's like a garbage bin specifically for ladies. And uh, during the summer times when the park was overflowing, well, so were those bins. I had to change those. That was my first job, pretty bad, you know, but I've, I've, I've done it all. I've been, uh, I worked for a moving company. I worked in a warehouse. I worked uh, washing out spice uh, barrels at a spice factory getting paid like nine bucks an hour canadian i've sold door-to-door -door chocolate i've worked for a directory assistance 411 i've sold tiles i've laid tiles i worked in construction man i've done a lot of jobs so for me to be here right now in my future office that is mine that i own i never thought something like this would ever happen i just never thought it would happen i never wanted it to really i never really set out a goal to be like, hey, I want this. You know what I mean? I just kind of like going through life, trying to do what I love and eventually I found it and now we're here in this place. So next part of the tour is, uh, you see those X's right there? Those are going to be, there's gonna be a massive wall uh, that, that, that's held up by two pipes and on this side it's gonna be all like cement. On this side of the wall it's gonna be all cement. And on the other side, it's gonna be like black cage, which is really cool. And the reason for that is that this side is gonna be like the lounge area. So we're going to have TV couch, uh, projector, just like hanging chairs and bean bag stuff. Kind of like, I kind of want it to feel like, you know, when you walk into Google. That I was like, I've been to Google a few times and you know, I, want, I want this place to be like a mix of Google and, and Blade Runner. And on this side of that wall, What's really cool is gonna be a streaming station. So I'm gonna have two streaming stations set up. This will be the background. So I'll put some really cool artwork on the wall, some neon signs, you know, make it really, really gamery. Gamey, gamery. So we're gonna have the streaming set up here. My boys over at Space Station Gaming gonna hook it up. My manager actually, my managers actually own uh, the best Rainbow Six esports team in the entire world, SSG. Let's go, baby. Uh, this is gonna be taken down, all this here. Here, this is a special, this is a special place for me. This is going, there's gonna be a new setup here. 
and not for the videos that I do currently, but for a new format. And I'm really excited to show you guys this new format as I think it's going to be really big and I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it. So I can't wait to show you what this place is. Over here, you're gonna have Antoine and Lee's offices next to each other. Uh, we're gonna paint the outside super cool. There's gonna be windows and stuff, so that'll be really dope. This will be my office right here. Desk, background, we're changing that as well. And uh, I'm actually getting a custom desk made, which is really dope by IR Customs. I'll show you the renders when I get them. Those are gonna be really sick. Over here, man, I'm, I'm kind of tripping out right now. Over here, uh, that's gonna be the gear locker. We're gonna cage that up and have all our gears, all our gear locked down basically and uh, dust free. This space right here, This is home to the new secret room. And the door will actually be that big canvas of uh, Alexander that I have in my office. It's gonna be right there. And we'll get to what's gonna be inside there. Uh, I've got some really, really cool stuff planned for that. I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> so back here, let's get the one wheel. One wheels are gonna come in handy. Me and the boys each got one, but it is very slippery. As you can tell from me, bailing over here this is going to be a bedroom you're gonna have we're thinking either bunk beds or just a regular bed with a desk maybe a little editing station for when guests come over as i mentioned i have plans for a new format that will require guests uh this is where they'll be staying over here kind of a boardroom little meeting room super tiny uh there's gonna be like a desk here uh, bar stools basically, and a TV and a whiteboard. A place where we can jot down ideas and get super creative. Uh, this over here is the bathroom. Uh, there will be a shower here as well, we're adding that. The kitchen, not much is going to change here. I think we're just gonna keep it as is. As I mentioned, the floors are all gonna be epoxied throughout, which is great. This, ooh, it's a little bright. This is going to be Antoine's shipping area. So where he can, we're gonna have racks on the wall with all the clothes, the first merch, and uh, where he can prepare his orders and have them picked up. So that about wraps up the initial tour of my new space. A lot of work's gonna go into this. You know, we got a lot of design plans and a lot of uh, things that are gonna change along the way to fit uh, the needs that we have. Uh, you know, obviously the reason for moving is, is A, the noise, uh, that we got to deal with all the time. So by sonorizing this place, we're going to be pretty much locked down a bunker with no noise, which is great. And B, I would say is just the space. Um, we've got some really ambitious ideas for new formats and I don't want my channel to be complacent and reliant on one thing. So we are going to be switching it up, trying new things and it's exciting, it's scary. Um, but I always say, you know what? If you're not scared to hit that upload button, you're not doing it right. <laughs> so looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to what this is gonna bring. I wanna show you guys something actually. As much as, much as uh, you know, these times are pretty uncertain and for me to make this large of an investment during these times, I mean, I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be okay, but in the back of your mind, it's still a big risk and you're still like, ugh. What have I done? Is this a good move? Is this not a good move? You know, and I have to, I've, you know, currently there's five employees uh, in this company. There's aside from payroll and, and, and taxes and, and now mortgage and, and, you know, just everything we need to keep functioning. Um, it's, it's a heavy load to bear, but one that I gladly take with me. I wouldn't change it for the world, uh, but it is a lot. Now, I'm not, I'm not asking for th sympathy, obviously. I'm not, um, but it does, it does weigh heavy sometimes. And I can only imagine people with like 50, hundred employees uh, that are super famous and like, you know, the things that are going through their head must be incredible. Like it's, it's a lot to deal with. It is a lot to deal with, but I happily do so. And I, I'm thankful and grateful for it. So thank you guys. That being said, in these times of panic, I refer to, I refer to a guide that helps me out. And maybe this will help you out. This is my favorite book of all time. Uh, this is actually a first edition of uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, starring Peter Jones as the book. Now, have you seen the movie? 
please erase that from your mind immediately. The books and the audio CDs actually are where it's at. If you've never read this, so it's about this guy named Arthur Dent, a six foot tall ape descendant from Earth. Uh, who hitches a ride on a Vogon constructor fleet, which are aliens that are trying to build a bypass through Earth. Uh, meanwhile, his house is also trying to be run down from a bypass being built. So there's, it's humorous, it's funny, uh, and, and so stressful for this guy as he's getting out of all these situations. And all he has is this book called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which basically tells him about the things that he encounters in the universe. And he's there to also help Zaphod, his friend, update this book. And uh, the only, the one thing about this book is that in big friendly letters across the face is written the words, don't panic. Great advice. Oh, I'm gonna break my neck on one of these, on these things one day. <sighs> so there you have it, thanks for Thanks for sticking around. I feel like I'm like a 12 year old girl. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all of, thanks for all of your support. Uh, you guys have been amazing. It's... I... I want to prove to you why I deserve a place like this, why we deserve a place like this. By just really creating entertain, entertaining and hopefully meaningful content to some of you out there, reaching out to some of you. I mean, I just want to do this right. I want to do it right. Uh, I, I want to do right by you. So thanks for being there along the journey. Uh, I can't wait to show you the developments of this place and take you along. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of the build out videos as we start construction. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you can and subscribe uh, as well. I know I'm asking a lot, but do those three things and, and uh, I don't know, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be struck with some good luck. I don't know, that's, that's BS, don't believe that. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace.